Yeah. Hello everybody, it's Terrence Pop. Boom, beer me. Uh, 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 Woo! That's a good beer. Uh, Edit that out. And today, I'm gonna focus in on a phenomena. Crisscross, bet the wrong dog. And the theory behind that beta male to alpha male. I have dyslexia-ish kind of thing. And uh, if it's not spelled right, off. Oh, and uh, let me put my care face on in the beginning. All right, all right everybody. What do you think an alpha male is? Just envision it in your head. We all knew that guy in high school who was the running back slash quarterback, ran track, wrestled, Mr. Do-it-all, everything guy. Who had five or six chicks hanging around him all the time, a boatload of cash, and a nice flashy car. And what does he do now? He runs a quickie mark. <laughs> Am I wrong? Beta male, you know, carries a big school bag, you know, doesn't really talk much, averts his eyes, he doesn't get a lot of play, doesn't get a lot of attention. You better watch that guy. He'll be giving you a pink slip when you're 35. I'm gonna talk about that. So let us begin. All right, if you notice here behind me, you'll see I have the alpha male and I have the beta male. Right around 34-ish is where they, uh, they switch over. And I, I, I pick 34 because that's when like the average beta male is out of college and been on the job maybe five to six years. And also it's where the big head finally overpowers the little head and you make rational decisions and are not all based off testosterone and overactive seed pumps. And that's when you start noticing, say, the deductible. She pulls out the fun bags. You're like, hey, those are nice. But who's gonna pay the deductible? With that being said, we'll continue here. They look good now, 10 years from now. 30 grand. Tune up. The alpha male, you know, they usually have the good looks, dominant personality, aggressiveness, physical or mental power. They may or may not have more resources at their control. Where the beta male is kind of more at a, you know, disadvantage. And he'll be smart, he'll have discipline, persistence. Now, you'd be surprised what discipline and persistence will get you. If you roll back the clock on me 30 years, you know, I was playing Dungeons and Dragons Friday and Saturday nights and Atari on Sunday. Hey, look, if you're watching this and you don't know what an Atari is, what are you doing here? Get out of here. That was in 1986, 1989. I was jumping into Panama as an airborne ranger. In 1999, I was fighting for the light heavyweight uh, kickboxing champion of the world. What are you going to do? All right, hang on, let me beer. The biggest mistake alpha males make is they think all of this is going to last forever because it's not. We go the alphas become the betas and there's some reasons here. Injury. Look, injuries happen. Okay, there's no fault of your own. I mean, what are you going to do? You get T-boned in a car. Total bummer. But, you know, hey, you're probably on your way to Betaville. Substance abuse. You do a lot of this, smoke the ganja, drink a little bit too much, do some dope. Hey, it's gonna, you know, you wind up in prison or you're gonna, you know, have some issues. It's gonna make your uh, perishable items even that much more perishable. Okay, then we have smoking or excessive partying. Um, that usually doesn't go anywhere good, but hey, they like to do that. Usually it's a fast track right to Betaville or your own FX TV show. Winning! And usually that leads to uncontrolled weight gain. They go from the hot bod to bowling pin to bowling ball. Your Audi becomes an innie and then you have three holes. Lynch wrap slot X. <laughs> it's just so nasty. And you know, the substance abuse and the smoking and other things usually winds up, you know, down the river with illness and sickness, which is, hey, you're going right to Betaville. Now, some of the things that will bring a, the beta male to the alpha side, I know some of these are pretty terrible, like he takes in excessive school. Who wants to do that? <laughs> he engages in hard work. You work out. A lot can happen 20 years under the bench press, I'll tell you. But also, you know, they're not below hitting the fat check and a lot of pressing goes on with that, you know what I'm saying? Pick up your own small moon. They like to take care of themselves. Eat well, watch your diet, run a little bit, watch the cardio. Pays off huge dividends down the road. Here's another thing. I know this is novel, but you know, they like to save their money. <laughs> Last but not least, complete change of attitude. We'll bring a beta to an alpha, no time fly. Napoleon was a nobody from nowhere. Short dude, but he was a bad motherfucker. Edit that out. 
All right, I'm going to go over here to the second half here. All right, let me get you familiar with this board here. We got the alphas and the betas. A very small percentage of the alphas will stay in the alpha range for their entire life cycle before they kick the air addiction or turn in their meat sack for its deposit. About 20 to 40 percent of the betas will transition in this area over to the alphas. Let's let's face it. You know, a lot of the betas they, they become doctors, lawyers business owners, entrepreneurs, they're movers and shakers. They move over here. Now, this is where the theory comes down. Say you get married right around here. You come on down here and you come into the divorce block, which 65% of women file for divorce, usually between the ages of 32 and 39. Oh, and you don't want them. Yeah. So you, uh, you ditch them right in your divorce window and, and you hook up with the alpha male. And, oh, and it's going good. Oh, wait a minute. You're right back where you began. Bummer. So what just happened there? Crisscross, you bet the wrong dog, baby. You're back in Betaville. So it is what it is. And you know what? And everyone else is down here in Betaville down, you know, later on in their life. And uh, some of them will fall through to become Omegas, which are basically um, chronically unemployed, mooches, live in their mother's basement, uh, drug addicts, you know, convicted felons, and so forth. So anyway, that's my theory. If you like it, you don't. I don't care. You see this every day. Uh, it's nothing new. This is what's going on. And I'm just, I'm just explaining it, the theory behind the whole thing. And please hit the subscribe button. Because if you do, you might just get to be the alpha male a little bit faster. <laughs> me, 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 me. Trying to speak louder. <laughs> Wait till you hit your 20 year reunion, man. You'd be shocked. Oh, I'm sure. Some of those dudes, when I went to my 20 year, they looked like they were like 80. Really? Oh my God, they were tore up. They've been smoking since they were 16. They were tore up from the floor up, man. You bet the wrong dog, baby. Was, who's that guy who ran, who ran Apple? Steve Jobs. Yeah, that dude was like a, a huge turbo dork back in the day. And he like became a bazillionaire. You know, there's about 100 chicks back in the day like, oh man, I could have went out with that guy, but he was such a dork. And now he's so filthy rich. <laughs> Bet the wrong dog.